Hello and welcome to another Lightroom tutorial. For this video, I want to talk a little bit about color grading and how to achieve the moody brown autumn color look. And besides the classic version of Lightroom, this should also work in the cloud version and of course also in Photoshop. If you're just looking for the preset, I will create a preset out of this editing process and you can find the download link in the description. At the end of the video, I will talk a little bit about applying this preset on other images and how you can fix minor things. So let's start the process. First, I'm heading to the lens correction stuff and here I'm checking the remove chromatic aberration first. I am not enabling the profile correction since it does look a bit weird in this case and I think it looks better without it. Now to achieve the moody brown look, I'm starting by changing the profile to Adobe Landscape. This will already give me some nicer color tones, but before I'm starting to work on the colors, let's work on the overall tones of the image. First of all, I want to give this shot some kind of faded look and here I'm simply decreasing the contrast. This already quite dramatically changes the image, but I want to further increase this effect by boosting the blacks. All right, you can see the image starts to look a little bit like an analog image. That's just because the lack of contrast, which fits really, really well for the moody brown look in my opinion. Now taking a look at the histogram, we can see we can brighten up this image a little more without risking any overexposure. So for this, let's simply increase the whites. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to make this analog effect a little stronger and I think a softer look will help. So I'm dropping the texture. Also, I'm dropping the clarity just a little bit. And now everything should be slightly softer. Also, the colors are a bit too strong. To change that, I'm simply dropping the vibrance and the saturation. Now we do have a very nice faded look going on with the reduced contrast. The colors still don't look like I want them to. So let's change that in the HSL panel. And first of course, I want to fix the green and yellow hues. So here in the hue panel, I'm just dropping the greens all together. You can see this has a big impact on the image. Still, I want to make those yellow tones a little more orange. That's why I'm dropping the yellow hue as well. That should be good for now. Then let's work on the saturation. I want to make sure I only have those orange, yellow, brownish color tones in my image. So I'm first dropping all those other tones completely. For the green tones, I don't want to drop them all the way down but still, I want to strongly reduce them. Also, I'm reducing the yellow tones and the orange tones a bit. Don't worry about the saturation. This will be fixed at a later point. For now, let's head to the luminance tab. And here, let's boost the luminance of orange and yellow, which will just make the foliage a little brighter. Okay. The colors start to look really, really good. I think I need to work on this faded look a little more and therefore I'm using the tone curve. In this case, I first want to apply a simple S curve. That means I'm creating a point in the middle. Then for the highlights, I slightly drag up this point and I'm creating a point for the shadows, which I simply drop down. Looking at the blacks, we can see the contrast has increased again, obviously, because of this S-curve. I still want to have some faded blacks, therefore I can simply pick up this point and drag it straight up. Just like that. And a before and after, you can see we have added some more contrast this way without losing that faded look, which looks really, really nice. Now I can also use the tone curve to work on the color some more. Let's head to the red channel first. To introduce some more red tones to the highlights, I can pick the upper right point and carefully drag it to the left. Of course, I don't want to overdo it, so this should be good. 
We can also add some more yellow tones by going into the blue channel, picking up the right point and just drag it down a bit. Okay, now we have some really, really nice colors going on here. I can actually play around with the white balance to adjust the color tone some more. Okay, of course, I also want to apply some split toning in the color grading tab. For this shot, I am only working on the midtones and the highlights. For both of them, I want to go with a warm color tone somewhere in this range. But of course, let's bring down the saturation. All right, then let's check the highlights and basically apply the same color tone. And again, bring down the saturation. Nice. Then for some more color grading, we can head all the way down to the calibration tab. And for those brown color tones, it's really helpful to simply drop the blue primary hue. You can see that's only a subtle change, but I think it has a great impact on the overall image. We could also bring down the saturation just a bit and maybe boost the red hue and the green hue as well. All right, that looks really cool. Finally, we might as well add some vignetting. Not too much, just a little bit. And also for the analog effect, we could add some grain. Of course, here it makes sense to zoom in a little bit. Okay. And here we have the finished image with the moody brown color tones. As said in the intro, I want to create a preset out of this. And if you don't know how that's done, that's no problem at all. In the left panel under the presets menu, we can simply hit this plus icon to add a new preset. Let's say create preset. And let's name this Moody Brown Autumn Tones. Make sure to check all and then just hit the create button. And right here you can see the new preset. So let's apply it on other images. So here's a rather similar image. If I apply the preset, you can see it does work kind of okay on this shot. Only problem is we do have some overexposure, so let's drop the highlights and maybe the overall exposure as well. Now for this shot, the preset works pretty good, except for this overexposure problems. Let's see how it goes for this image though. Again, let's apply the preset and you can see we lost quite a bit of colors and this makes this image look a little bit strange. Now we can fix it by simply adjusting the preset settings in the HSL panel. And I think it's a good idea to bring back the green hue just a little bit. Something like this maybe. And also it might be a good idea to bring down the blacks a little bit. All right, at this point it looks pretty good, I think. Now let's try it with this shot as well. Here we do have some overexposure in the highlights, so let's bring down the highlights. And of course it starts to look way too dark, so we can fix it by bringing up the exposure and maybe we can drop the blacks some more. The point I'm trying to make is you can't expect a preset to work on every image because in 99% of the cases presets were made with certain settings in mind and also with certain light conditions. That doesn't mean you can't apply presets on your image, it just means you have to do some manual adjustments after applying the presets, just like I did with those three images. So I hope this video was interesting and helpful. If you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Also take a look at the description for the preset if you want to download it. And thank you very much for watching this video.